Hey guys, I'm back. It has been a while, I do apologize, but it has been a very busy summer. Uh, we have been really busy making this. Um, so in case anyone didn't know already, we do have a vineyard here and, and that's what we've been busy doing all summer. And uh, yeah, it's been, a, it's been a mega, mega summer, but it's time to get back into doing these kind of cocktail videos consistently. But before we get into that, let's uh, give you a little sample of what this is like. Absolutely delicious, but I think it's time we get back into making some cocktails. Uh, so cheers. So Halloween is right around the corner and I've seen all the usual Halloween cocktails going up online. And to be honest, none of them really took my fancy. I always think they're a little bit too gimmicky. So I thought, what should Halloween cocktails really be about? And I went down the route of basically they had to be killer strong. You know, stuff that can knock your socks off but still tastes good. So that's what we're going to be doing in this video. I'm making three super strong cocktails for a proper killer evening. Now no killer evening would be complete without a killer rum punch, right? This one is dangerous so please be careful trying this one at home. We're going to take some sugar and break it up in our pan over a gentle heat until it's pretty much caramelizing. Then we're going to add a generous splash of overproof rum and we're going to flambe that. Um, the measurements in this one are kind of up to your own discretion, but as a general rule of thumb, you want around one ounce of overproof. Well, I probably did a little bit more on that one. Uh, two ounces of a second rum. I'm using my Old Faithful Bamboo. Uh, and then around one ounce, uh, or maybe slightly more, let's say one and a half ounce of Grand Marnier. Uh, we then need around four ounces of pineapple juice and just a splash of grenadine. Now you can try this one as a warm punch, but I actually like it served over rice with a smoking stick of cinnamon for garnish. Absolutely delicious. On to drink number two, and this one is renowned across the world for being able to put your lights out. We're going to be making the famous Corpse Reviver number two, which has a suitably ominous name for a Halloween cocktail. Start with one ounce of gin, followed by one ounce of Cointreau, uh, and then three quarter ounce of Lille Blanc. Uh, two dashes of absinthe. Yeah, not a lot here, especially as this particular one is super, super strong, uh, at around 89%. Yikes. <laughs> And then add three quarters of an ounce of fresh lemon juice. Uh, give that a good shake. Smile, it's your favorite holiday, Halloween. Not. <laughs> uh, and uh, this is about to blow my head off as well. Uh, so strain it into a nice coupe glass and we're gonna garnish that with a lemon twist. Now whilst I enjoy this liquid death, now's a perfect time for you guys watching to hit that subscribe button as well as the bell icon to keep notified of all, mo all things Motley Mixology, all the upcoming videos, uh, and also leave a like and a comment down below. How would you like your Halloween cocktails? Right, we're going to finish with one that pretty much everyone knows. You can probably guess what it is looking at all that booze. Another hint, we're starting with half an ounce of rum, tequila and vodka. And we're coming behind that with half an ounce of gin and Cointreau respectively. We then want three quarters of an ounce of fresh lemon juice and half an ounce of simple syrup. Let's go ahead and shake that up. If you guys haven't guessed what we're making by now, it is of course the Long Island iced tea. Super simple, super strong, and one you can have a little bit of fun with. So this one actually rose to fame right back in the 1980s, and it is still ever popular today. You can find it pretty much anywhere. Um, the trick I like to do with this one is the uh, the old magic uh, Coke can kind of pour. Uh, really simple one to learn, actually. Uh, just you can Google you can Google this on YouTube, but it really looks cool, and it's a little bit of witchcraft to kind of amaze your friends, I guess, at this Halloween party you're going to be going to. Uh, so yeah, definitely check that out uh, and give it a go.
Okay guys, that is it for this one. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I hope those ones give you a bit of a killer night that you're after and maybe make Halloween just that little bit more bearable um, for those that don't like Halloween anyway. Um, and yeah, if you did really enjoy the video, please do leave a comment down below which one was your favorite drink. Uh, make sure you hit that like button, hit that bell notification as well to keep up to date with all things Motley Mixology. Uh, and yeah, subscribe to the channel uh, and keep, keep posted for the next video. And uh, make sure you check out my last video, which I will leave a link to just up here. So go check that out. And until next time, guys, cheers.